guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, and I am coming on here with a wings update for August. If you can see from the title, this is uh, the second update and this is part one. So the reason this is part one is because I have 21 packages and I'm not gonna be able to do them all in one video. So look for a part two, hopefully tomorrow, if everything technology-wise cooperates with me. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I actually love to crochet. That should be my name. Anyway, uh, I like yarn a lot. Go check out my latest yarn yakking video and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box as is everything that I'm going to talk about today. And if you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help a lot. So I am on here today because uh, you guys, along with uh, everyone else here in yarn land, has been helping me with a domestic violence organization called Wings. All of the links for them will be down below. There is a list of everything that they are asking for for the rest of the year. And you can also check out their website for more information. And uh, if you like to shop on Amazon and you haven't already picked a charity of choice, you can go to smile.amazon.com and choose Wings as your charity. So um, I do know that quite a few people have been asking about items for next year. And unfortunately, we will not have the list for next year until next year. So I can't tell you what to make in advance because um, sometimes it's not the same as it was the previous year. Uh, so thank you to everyone who's been inquiring, um, but we're just gonna have to wait until next year. Um, hopefully they'll actually still let us donate again. Uh, so, like I said, there's a list and my contact over at Wings has provided us with what they are asking for for every month. Uh, so for example, we are still in the month of August and they asked for aprons, kitchen aprons. Um, now your donations can be crocheted, knitted, uh, loom knitted, hand sewn, purchased at a store, however you wanna do it. Um, but I do ask that you send in your donations in the month that they're asking. So for example, I think in November they're asking for baby blankets. And by the way, you can only donate two baby blankets. Um, so please wait until November before you send those out. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, please uh, leave a comment down below. And I would actually appreciate it if you could leave a positive comment down below for anything that you enjoy uh, seeing here on this video. Uh, remember, you guys do not have to send in donations at all. I would prefer if you donate locally. It saves you money on postage and it helps your community. So if you can donate locally, please do so. But I do appreciate everyone who sends in things for wings. Okay, so like I said, for this month, we are at the end of August. It is kitchen aprons. And for September, you guys, they are asking for winter sets. So they are gonna be doing their coat drive. So if you could please get your stuff in um, well, you know, don't wait until the last day of September to send it. Um, if you can get your stuff in, like maybe by the last week of September, that would be great. Um, they're asking for winter sets. And winter sets include either a hat and a scarf, a hat and a cowl, and now a cowl is just it goes around your neck. Uh, it doesn't have the floppy things. Um, you can include fingerless gloves, mittens, regular gloves. Um, the hat and scarf sets or hat and cowl sets can be any size. They are asking for children's sets as well. So it can be adult or children. And like I said, they do want sets. Now she did say she would take a hooded scarf um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm here in the Chicago area and Chicago gets bitterly cold. So she is requesting something for the hat and for the head and the neck. Um, so I, I really do appreciate everyone who's donated and anyone who's going to in the future. So um, we're going to get started. I'm going to do 10 packages today. I have uh, five packages, I think, in five boxes, and then we'll do the other set um, I just have technical issues, so I can't do it all in one video. If you can, if you know what pattern you use, send a note with your um, donation so that we know what pattern you use um, because we love to um, copy your beautiful ideas. All right, so we're gonna start. The first package I have here is from Lanai and she is from Florida. And I have a note here and it says, hi Rose, here is an apron for wings. It's made from peaches and cream cotton and is a paid pattern. The link is 
uh, crocheddreamswithaz.blogspot.com and it's a paid pattern. Have a great day from Lanai. And she also goes by Toe Beans. Okay, so we're gonna see what this, oh my God, this is so cute. So here is her apron, oh my gosh. So it has a tie in the back to go around your waist and it has a little cupcake on the pocket and it is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for taking the time to send this, to make it and send it. And um, kudos to you guys for doing this. I did not do an apron for August and you guys don't feel bad if you can't. I don't expect anyone to donate every month. That's absolutely impossible, although some people do. <laughs> It's impossible for me. So, Lanai, thank you so, so much for setting the beautiful apron. I love it. Okay, so we're going to get to the next one here. Uh, this package is from Didi, and Didi is from Iowa, and it's in a pretty blue bag here. And we're going to see what she's got here. She's got a card. There is the card. And it says, hi Rose, here is my August donation. I used a pattern from Ravelry called Simple Apron. It is by Rashi Naufal, that's R-A-S-H-Y, N-O-W-F-A-L. I feel so happy to be able to donate again this month. Keep up all the good work, everyone. Dee Dee. P.S. I remembered the card this time. <laughs> okay, she sent a donation and forgot the card, but it's okay. You guys don't have to put a card in there. It's just really nice for everyone to know um, what pattern you used. And if you know what yarn, that's good too. Okay, so here's her apron. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's got the ties here for the neck. And then it's got the ties for around the waist. This is absolutely beautiful. Dee Dee, thank you so much for sending this gorgeous apron. You guys, I'm usually okay with doing the big things, but I, I couldn't, I just didn't have time to do an apron this month. So thank you to everyone who, who um, stepped up to the plate for me. I do appreciate it. All right, so this next one here is from Barbara and Barbara is from Michigan. So let me get it out of the bag here. Okay, so I have a note. Oh, and she's got butterflies all over them. Here, I'm gonna see if I can show you the butterflies. So Butterfly is the mascot for wings, in case you didn't know. And she writes, Hi Rose, Carrots, and Camo, Happy August. Enclosed are three adult-sized bib aprons for wings. My sister made them, and I think they're gorgeous. Each is fully adjustable at the neck and waist, so they should fit most adults. Again, please do not enter me in the thank you gifts drawing. Love and hugs from Barb. Okay, so she's talking about at the end of every month, we do some thank you gifts, and you can opt out of that if you don't want to be entered. And usually those are like, crochet hook sets or boxes of yarn patterns um, project bags stuff like that so I'm gonna show you guys oh my gosh these are so cool I'm not gonna she's got them each in baggies so I'm gonna show you guys the patterns on each one so this one has all the states it's got like a pocket right there and oh my gosh for Wisconsin it's got like a cow oh, so cute oh my gosh it's right there it's this guy right there that is adorable. Barb, please tell your sister thank you so much for making these beautiful aprons. Uh, this one has coffee and latte and all kinds of java and espresso. And there is a pocket right there. Can you guys hear it's thundering right now? <laughs> and then this one has like um, mangoes and fruits. Oh, it's so pretty. Barbara, thank you. And thank you so much to your sister for sending these three beautiful aprons. Um, I really do appreciate it. I know the ladies at Wings will appreciate it too. And if the men are cooks, um, the men will appreciate it as well. Um, just so you guys know, there are men in domestic violence shelters, although the majority of people in shelters, domestic violence shelters are women. So, all right, so Barbara, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna get to the next package. All right, so the next package comes from Connie and she's from Oklahoma and she sent Love Life card. You guys are so awesome. Dear Rose in the Zoo, you can read the note on YouTube. Thanks so much. Okay, so I've got a note. It says, Dear Rose, Carrots, and Camo. Camo is my puppy, just so you know, but he's not a puppy. He's an old guy. Hope you are all well. This is my first time to donate. 
Wow, first timer, thank you so much. My sewing ability is much better than my crochet. I have been sewing for over 50 years, only crocheting for three. I knew I could make a simple apron to donate. I made the one with gnomes on it. Fabric is from Hobby Lobby clearance last spring. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm not gonna unravel them, but look at the fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. She says, the other apron I purchased at the store where I work part-time. Thank you for all you do, Rose for Wings. Blessings. Okay, so here is the one that she purchased. It has a tag on it, but it's adorable. And it says, oh, maybe I should put it so you guys can read it. Happiness is homemade. Thank you so much for purchasing the apron and thank you so much for using that adorable gnome fabric to make an apron. Um, I don't sew you guys. Uh, the only thing I've ever sewn is patches on my daughter's Girl Scout uniform. And you know, they're all odd shapes. And so I feel like I, I can never sew a straight line because I never actually sew a straight line. It's all these weird things. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. All right, this next package comes from Gail. And Gail is from Missouri, so we're going to see what's in here. And I don't see a note or anything, but there are a bunch of aprons. Okay, so there's they're all like sealed, so I'm not going to take them out of the package, but I'm going to show you them. So you can see this is the top part, and there's the thing so that you can wrap it around your neck. And then I'm going to show you guys the other side, because look at the pocket. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's my jam. Oh, I love that. Okay, here is another one. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. So there's the top part there. And then look at the pocket with the rickrack, you guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, here is another one. It's this blue fabric. And then here's the pocket. It's a navy blue. Oh my gosh, you guys are just absolutely amazing. Okay, there's two like this this floral print, but the pockets have different color rickrack on them. Oh my gosh, adorable. Oh, I like this one too. I don't know why, because it's it's not purple, but I really like it. <laughs> it's this olive, look at the olivey green pocket on there. There is something for everyone here. So Gail, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful aprons. Oh my gosh, they're gonna have plenty, I guarantee you, and I really do appreciate it. Ooh, everyone who has donated. <laughs> I hope the power doesn't go out. We're gonna try and keep going here, okay? All right, you guys. Wow, that was scary. So the next package comes from Lily and she is from Florida and I have a note and it says, Dear Rose, I hope all is well with you, carrots and camo. I do not have a pattern for the two aprons. I did it by imagination in my head. I love it. The oranges were circles turned into granny squares. Okay, so I need to show you guys this. <gasps> Shut the front door. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> How cute is that? So she says the oranges were circles turned into granny squares Give it a, to give it a little more character. I used, I love cotton. Oh, hold on. Am I missing something? Oh, I'm missing something. Hold on. <laughs> I missed a page. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. Let me try this again. The oranges were circles turned into granny squares. I added the leaves applique after I finished putting them together. So she added this, this part right here. The blue, okay, so, oh my gosh, hold on. So she's done talking about this one, so I got to show you guys. So that's what goes around your neck, and it's got the orange buttons on it. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. So no pattern, you guys. You could just take a bunch of granny squares and put them together. So there's one. Oh my gosh, I love this. I can't wait to show my contact these. <laughs> these aprons are just adorable. Okay, and then she says the blue and green one were two granny squares. So here, I'll show this one to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. So two granny squares. She said, uh, large for the bottom and smaller for the top. I added the scalloped edging after I put it together. I added the blue crab applique. So cute to give it a little more character. I used, I love cotton from Hobby Lobby for the oranges apron and ice yarn for the blue and green. The neck straps are adjustable for the height. I had a ball making them. Take care, love, Lillian. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the edging. So it's just two granny squares, you guys. 
I probably could have done that. And you can adjust the neck part right here. And then here is the bottom part. Oh my gosh. That's just amazing how you can take a granny square, you guys, and make an apron out of that. That is so cool. Um, okay, so that's all she's got on her note. Sorry, I missed that one page. No, I'm not sorry. I mean, I missed it. <laughs> so Lillian, thank you so, so much for sending these beautiful aprons. I can't wait to bring them all to wings. All right, so we have four more boxes for this, um, this part. Hang on. All right, you guys, the next box came all the way from Canada and it is from someone here on YouTube. Her name is Michelle, but she goes by Shell Shell Crochet. Hi, Shell. Um, if you guys have not subscribed to her, pause the video and go over and subscribe to her. She she does updates twice a month. So she does like a mid-month update and then like an end of month update so you, she can show you all her projects. She is like the blanket making queen, the shawl. I mean, she is so freaking talented. Anyway, here is the envelope that I got. <laughs> and then little sticker on the back says handmade with love. And then I have a card that says thanks. And let's see what she says. She says, hi, Rose, here are some sets for wings. If anyone has any pattern questions, they can message me. Most are just me winging it. I have, I love seeing everyone's donations from Shell. P.S. The thanks goes to everyone for all the fabulous inspiration. I'm telling you, you guys are very inspirational when you send in donations. It's so amazing to see what you guys are making. And then you find new patterns that you didn't even know you wanted to try. So she stuffed her scarf or cowl inside the hat so that they could stay together and that is perfect. So if you guys are gonna send in sets for September, please feel free to send them like this. Just stuff the scarf inside the hat. So here is the hat. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And then we have, oh, it's like a shawl which you can wear as a scarf. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. I would never even think about making that as a set, but that's perfect. Okay, so there's one set. And then here, oh, this is really lightweight. Oh, this is like homespun yarn. <laughs> it's really soft, but I don't like working with it. So here is the hat. And then here is, oh, it's a infinity cowl. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love that shell. You are amazing. Okay, so there's two sets there. Okay, here is the next set. There is the hat. And here is, oh my gosh, look at that cowl. Oh my gosh, that will so keep you immensely warm. And it feels like latte cakes. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful, Shell. I absolutely love that. Okay, so we're gonna stick that one in there. And then we have this one right here, which is a granny hat. I love granny anything. And there is a scarf to go with it. Gosh, that's beautiful. I love that. Is that a Karen cake? Oh my God, I love Karen cakes. If that's a Karen cake, I think it might be. Okay, so we're gonna stuff that one in there. And then she's got two kid sets. And so I think what I'm gonna do, cause she's got it pretty vacuum sealed is I'm gonna leave them in the bag, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you the colors in there. It looks like one of them has a purple pom-pom. Oh my gosh. If I take it out of this bag, I'm never getting it back in there. And this way it's labeled and they know. So Michelle, thank you so much for sending all of those beautiful sets from Canada. I really do appreciate it. And again, if you guys aren't subscribed to Shell, please go over there and subscribe. She is adorable too, just so you know. Yes, I said that. <laughs> All right, so we have three more packages to go for this update. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Susan and she is one of my neighbors. She's in a suburb, not too far from me. And she sent this card right here. And let's see what it says. Oh, it's so pretty. It says, hi, Rose, hope all is well. The two crochet aprons enclosed are from Bag O'Day. Cute and easy granny square apron tutorial number 116 on YouTube. I just added extra squares for a bib. Okay, so we're gonna see. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna take them out of the bag and we're gonna show you, oh my gosh. Okay, so there is the top part, 
and it's got a tie for around your neck. And then here is the bottom part. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty with the little sunflowers. Those are gorgeous. I didn't know um, Crystal had an apron tutorial. You guys, we all need to go and check that out, right? Okay, and then here is the second one. Ooh, and it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is hot pink. Wow, excuse me. Hot pink. Look at those squares. Wow, zuh. And then here is the bottom part. And then she did the ruffles on the bottom part in this hot pink. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. Thank you so much for those. I mean, this crocheting, this is, is a lot of hard work, right? I mean, it shouldn't be because it's just granny squares, but if you don't like making granny squares, then it's a lot of hard work, right? So that is beautiful. Okay, and then she says, for um, one of the crochet aprons, I also used Daisy Granny Square Pattern by Created by Carolyn Co. on Etsy. Okay, and then she says, the aprons made from towels are from YouTube tutorial on Heather Handmade. Thanks so much from Sue. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's this whole bag. And these are made from kitchen towels, you guys. So here is one. Oh, this is just an actual apron. That's perfect. Here is the one made from a kitchen towel. And we had someone do this in the past, you guys. So this is the towel and then you just put the ribbon on there. And it's a half apron, so it just ties around your waist. Oh my gosh, I love these. If I ever learn to sew anything beside a Girl Scout badge <laughs> one day. Okay, so here is another one. I'm going to try not to unfold them all. You guys can see the patterns. Those are so cute to use kitchen towels for that, right? How perfect because you'd be wiping your hands on a towel anyway. And here is the last one. These are ingenious, Sue. Thank you so, so much for sending these beautiful aprons. The crocheted ones are amazing. I love them. And these are a really cool idea too. So thank you so much. All right. We got two more to go, guys. All right, you guys, the, the guys, the next box was really big and there was no return address on it. And that's totally fine. You guys can always remain anonymous or you can put your address on there and then just say you don't want to have your name said on video. That's totally fine. This person sent this huge bag of aprons. Oh my gosh, huge bag of aprons. Um, I'm going to just show you like the patterns on here because it's like bagged so nicely. Um, you can see there's like a purple one right there, and you can see all the ties. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, you know what? I have to take out the purple one. Hang on. You guys, there's more than one purple one. So there's one, there's two, three, and four four just in that purple one. So there's probably 25 or 30 aprons in here. If this, this little stack is four. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Whoever you are, you anonymous person with a huge heart. <laughs> thank you so much for sending these aprons. There's also two hat and towel sets. So this one says towel and hat and the person left the tag. So you guys would know what yarn they use. So this yarn, in case you're wondering, is Loops and Threads Impeccable. And, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So the hat is a crocheted waffle stitch hat, and the cowl is knitted. <gasps> what? You guys see that, how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh, whoever you are, it's beautiful, and thank you so much. And there's one other set in here, you guys. Okay, so this one is, the tag says scarf and hat, and it is from, oops, we're stuck here. Uh, oh, she tied it together, or he tied it together. It's made with scarfy, and I'm going to show you guys the pattern. I'm going to leave it together like that. Scarfy works up so nicely, doesn't it? So Anonymous, thank you so much for sending the huge bag of aprons and the two hat and scarf sets. 
Um, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it and the people at Wings appreciate it and the people who are the recipients, I'm sure, very much appreciate getting a handmade item from you guys. So thanks again. Okay, we got one more, guys. Hang on. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this last box comes from Jen and Jen is from Pennsylvania and she sent this card. Oh my gosh, it has a little yarn skein on the back. So pretty. And what does she write? Rose, thanks for all you do for wings and the yarn community. I made several sets. <laughs> several? There's so many here. I made several sets from multiple tutorials I found on YouTube. Sincerely, Jen. P.S. The sets in the bag are made from the yarn. I won from you last year. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I love it. I'm so glad that you guys are getting use out of stuff that you win. Okay, so she did, um, she put the scarf inside the hat. So I'm going to show you guys the sets here. There is the hat. And I'm not gonna unfold the scarves or anything, okay? So there is the scarf. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. And I need to make sure that I keep them all together once they come out of the box, right? Here is the next one. There's the hat and there is the scarf. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. Hey, Jen, what yarn is that? It's so pretty. Okay, and then we have this one right here, this hat, and this humongous scarf. Someone is going to stay very warm in that. Thank you very much. And then we have this set. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's sparkly, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. And here is a cowl to match. Look at that. The colors even line up perfectly. I just love these. Okay, this color is super pretty. This is periwinkle. Oh, look at the stitch on that. It's like a crisscross stitch. Oh my gosh, I love that. This, it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is a scarf, you guys. And then we have this gray one right here. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a lot of work. There's the cowl and there is the hat. Oh my gosh, that looks like all front post crochets. Yeah. <laughs> and then here is, oh, this is really pretty too. Look at that hat and, a, and it looks like a knitted scarf. Beautiful, oh my gosh, in neutral colors. And listen, you guys don't have to send in neutral colors. You can do whatever colors you want, okay? Here is another hat and scarf. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. You guys have the best taste in yarn. Okay, here is um, a hat and a cowl. That looks like the um, Bon Bon Beanie from Bag O Day. Gorgeous. And then we have this one. And oh, this is like an, inf okay, I have to show you this one. So there's the hat. And then it looks like this is an infinity cowl. And I'm pretty sure I'm not showing it right, but that's beautiful. <laughs> I wear big, thick scarves, you guys, because I have to walk the dog in the cold, and he doesn't care how cold I am, so. <laughs> there is another hat and scarf. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Okay, and then she said this is the yarn that she won last year. These sets are all made with the yarn that she won, uh, probably from a giveaway or something, right? Okay, so we have this set right here. And I will put these back in their little cocoons when I'm done here. And then we have, oh my gosh, here's another one of those knitted um, scarves, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love that. Here is purple. Did I just send you all purple and green? <laughs> That's so funny. Because these are all purple and green. Here is a hat and a scarf. Oh my goodness. And then look at how pretty this one is. This one has um, doohickeys, fringe. <laughs> That's it, words. 
So thank you so, so much, Jen, for sending in these beautiful hat and scarf sets. I really, really do appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone. I really would like it if you could leave a positive comment down below. And if you have any questions, send me an email or leave a comment down below. I do answer every single comment uh, on all of my videos. And I do appreciate you guys so much. So keep an eye out for tomorrow for part two. And I think there will be 11 packages in there and you'll see me wearing the same thing because I'm going to try and do both of these videos tonight. All right, that's it, you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.